Hi guys, my name is Becca and welcome back to my channel and today I am here with another unhaul video. The third of many. I, I just don't know when it's going to end. <laughs> I, I'm just going to be getting rid of so many things and yeah. But here we are. Uh, so I have another about four bags worth of books to show you uh, from this shelf here or this case. Um, the first video was stuff that I already had sitting around. Um, the second video is this case, the third video being this case, and then the fourth will be this, and then so on. Um, hopefully there's gonna be like five or six, but that's it. I, I don't want to go above six, to be completely honest. So, there we go. Uh, so, first few books I'm getting rid of are all from Christina Lauren. Um, I'm not getting rid of all of Christina Lauren's books, just her series, because to be completely honest, I don't want to keep them, and they're a lot, so, yeah. Uh, first up, we have the Beautiful series. We have Beautiful Bastard, Beautiful Strain Beautiful Stranger, and Beautiful Player. Um, and then after that, we have Beautiful Secret and Beautiful. Uh, and then the novellas that go along with that are Beautiful Bitch, Beautiful Bombshell, Beautiful Beginning, and Beautiful Boss. So, yeah. These are all going to go. I need to remember to take these stickers off before, but oh well. Uh, and then the other series of Christina Lawrence that I'm getting rid of is uh, the Something Season series, or... I don't remember what the series is called, but first off we have Sweet Filthy Boy. Dirty Rowdy Thing, uh, Dark Wild Thing, Dark Wild Night, and Wicked Sexy Liar. So those will also be going. And then next up we have uh, Graceling by Kristen Kishore. This is the first in the series that I did enjoy this book, but I didn't love it. And the only reason I would keep it is because this cover is gorgeous. <laughs> like absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I do want to continue on with the series, but to be honest, I'll just be doing that uh, via, like, Hoopla or Libby or anywhere I can get my hands on that's not physical. So, yeah. Alright, and then the next author I'm getting rid of some of their books is Colleen Hoover. So first up we have Too Late. Um, this one, I just... There are some Colleen Hoover's that I really, really love, and some I just don't. This is one that I don't love. Uh, I remember this had to do with abuse. I think physical and verbal, but I could be wrong. I think maybe just verbal. I remember that, but I can't remember if there was physical for sure, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, this is like a dark romance that I just wasn't enjoying at all. Um, yeah, let me just take this. Okay. Then the other ones I'm getting rid of are uh, Point of Retreat and This Girl. Uh, there are books two and three, of course, books two and three in the Slammed series or whatever. I love Slammed when I read it. Uh, I don't think it's one of the greatest books she's ever written. Uh, it was her first book. But when I read it, um, I really, really loved it. Uh, now I think if I would read it, I'd still maybe enjoy it, but not love it as much. But still, I have like... A really good memory associated with that. Um, I stayed up till 6am reading. It was my first Colleen Hoover. I, I just, I had a fantastic time. It really got me into Colleen Hoover. These though, oh wait, did I have these signed? I don't think so. No. No, I don't have these signed, thankfully. Um, yeah. And then this one is also Will's point of view, so I don't need that. But yeah, those are going. And then the last one of Colleen Hoover says going is Regretting You. Uh, I enjoyed it. I did, but I don't think I'll ever reread it. Um, I thought the relationship between the mother and daughter was really well done. Um, and I liked the romances that brewed in this, but no, I'm not going to end up rereading that. And I just want to keep the ones that I really enjoy and we'll plan on rereading in the future. Oh, man. Oh, and then the last one I have is 
Paris for One and Other Stories by Jojo Moyes. Um, yeah, I thought I got rid of all of Colleen Hoover's books, so that was a surprise. bag is done. Okay, the next bag is one that's not full, but that's fine. First off, we have another author I'm kind of getting rid of all their works, and that's Emma Mills. Again, why why contemporary is just not my thing anymore. Um, I enjoy it for what it is, but I don't ever plan on rereading it. Uh, so we have This Adventure Ends first, and then, and then foolish hearts uh again i enjoyed all of these um i think i even cried in all of them and i think they're definitely worth reading i just don't plan on ever rereading them then we have a study in charlotte by Brittany cavallero this is a charlotte holmes jamie watson it's like a sherlock holmes kind of retelling or something like that i don't ever plan on reading it um, then we have This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. This was like a, I think, a mystery, but I don't ever plan, yeah, it's a slow burning mystery. I don't ever plan on reading. Um, I had The Silent Sister by Diane Chamberlain, something like that. I think another mystery. I think this is one where the sister, they thought the sister died or something, and yeah, they said that she committed, uh, her sister Lisa committed suicide. But then there's actually tales that she's still alive. So, I don't know, uh, but I never read it and I don't plan on reading it. Then we have The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I literally thought I got rid of this a long time ago, but I didn't. Um, and a lot of the things that's going on with Mackenzie Lee right now, don't really want to deal with that. Um, oh my god, what the hell? stuff on the bottom of the bag. Okay. Then we have Opposite of Always. Oh, I lost a nail. Damn it. Damn it. All right, I'll figure out what that happened to that. Uh, we have Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. Um, I planned on reading this a long time ago and never did. I think it's a YA contemporary and I just don't see myself ever reading it, so... Also, it's like a time travel, time loop kind of thing. Um, so, I mean, that sounded pretty good, but again, don't see myself reading that again. Or don't see myself reading that ever. And if I do read it, um, I can always just get it from the library. Hoopla or something like that. I found my nail. Alright, let's see if this works stay on this time i practically just did this so no wonder they're falling off all right let me just keep that there i don't really want to all right next up i think we have some more stay uh more YA contemporary uh we have morgan masson with second chance summer um this one made me cry hard like really hard um, I'm not going to tell you why, because that would be a big spoiler, but it was good. I just will never read it. Uh, Since You've Been Gone, also by Morgan Matson. Come on. Um, I didn't love this one. I thought this one was nice, but nah. Uh, I am keeping The Unexpected Always. Something like that. Um, that one I liked more. It has dogs, and I'm going to keep that. Then we have Last Year's Mistake by Gina Tsioka. Um, don't see myself ever reading that now. Uh, Year One by Nora Roberts. I wanted to keep this because it's Nora Roberts. It's book one, but I'm not entirely sure if I really want to read this. And I don't even really know what this is about. <laughs> because I can't find a single synopsis that like really makes sense. So I would just go into this um, completely blind, and I don't really see myself doing that right now. So yeah. Then we have some Star Wars books. We have Master and Apprentice by Claudia Gray. This is Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon, and I just thought it was meh. Uh, more Star Wars I thought was meh was The Queen's Shadow and The Queen's Peril. Um, 
both by E.K. Johnston. These are Padme stories, and I love Padme, but didn't really care for those books. Um, so then we have Shipped by Angie Hockman. Uh, this is a really cute kind of enemies to lovers, uh, where they're both vying for the same um, position in the company, and they have to go on like this vacation. Uh, this they both kind of work for a cruise line, so they have to go on this uh, vacation and come up with like a presentation and stuff like that. And it was cute. Don't ever plan on reading it again. Uh, one that I haven't read is Ghosting, a love story by Tosh Skilton. Is love IRL or just a fantasy? Or is love IRL just a fantasy? Um, yeah, I I looked into this and I don't really see myself reading it. Uh, then we have Much Ado About You by Samantha Young. I tried reading this and I could not get into the writing. Um, I remember really loving Samantha Young's Fight or Flight, but this just did not do it for me and I was really upset about it because I remember really wanting to read that. Uh, then we have Next Year at Havana, or Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. Uh, this is a Reese's Book Club pick, and I have had this for many, many years and not picked it up, so I'm not going to worry about it now. And then last, and that is Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune um, by Roselle Lim. Again, I've had this for quite some time, and I just don't see myself picking it up. The only reason I want to keep it is because this cover is gorgeous. I absolutely love this cover, but that's it. Alright. That is practically three bags down, one more bag to go. Let me just put these all in here. Lastly, oh no, this one's gonna, oh no. Okay, let's see. Oh, I really could have pulled a muscle with that. This is the heaviest one. So basically all the other books uh, were mostly from the bottom up. This is the top shelf. And the top shelf, if you can really see, I keep all my hardbacks. <laughs> like all my heaviest books so it's from like the the uh the two shelves there so first up we have today tonight tomorrow by uh rachel and solomon um i enjoyed this it's a YA contemporary just don't see myself ever picking it up uh and then we have some casey west that i just don't see myself rereading i kept the ones i really enjoyed but these are lucky in love and love life in the list they're cute, but just not for me anymore. Um, I think these are... Oh, no. Okay. Okay, well. Uh, so then we have Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I have kept this for as long as I can. This is another YA contemporary. I think this uh, does really well. I think it's... Is it anxiety? Social anxiety, maybe? I can't exactly remember, but there is mental illness illness in this, and I think it does really well with that. Um, I remember just really loving this book, but if I ever plan on rereading it, I'll just end up uh, rereading it like electronically. I just don't need a physical copy anymore. And then we have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Again, I really enjoyed this book, but it is a YA contemporary. Uh, the only reason I would keep this is because this cover is absolutely gorgeous. The edition of this book is just so freaking beautiful. Um, the pages are like glossy. And I just, I, I really, really love the modern take of Cinderella in this. And like the fandom and everything like that. Um, the fact that it's like a con, um you know, like a, a fandom convention, stuff like that. I, I loved everything about it practically, but I just don't see myself ever rereading it again. And if I do plan to pick it up again, I will just end up reading it electronically. And then I also have the sequel to that, which is The Princess and the Fangirl 
Uh, I don't remember this one being, yeah, this one's not nearly as good as Gigarella, uh, in terms of, like, um, the book, um, like, how the book was made. The pages aren't glossy, they're just regular paper. Um, yeah, there's the end papers, and it also has the purple of that, but I just, and this was good. I think this one had a sapphic romance, if I remember, and, uh, it was a sapphic one that I actually enjoyed. I think I could be wrong but I, I think there was the sapphic one in here but I'm not entirely sure if that was the main that was the main relationship but still I remember really enjoying that romance <laughs> all right uh then we have the upside of unrequited by Becky Albertalli I'm keeping all of Simon's books except for Leah because I unhauled that a long time ago but uh this one just I don't plan on rereading this ever. I think that also had a sapphic romance I liked. So, yeah. This is probably going to surprise some of you if you've been on my channel for a while. But I'm getting rid of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is one of my favorite YA contemporary books of all time. Um, I've read this many, many times. Um, and this is the really pretty Target. I think, that, yeah, this is the Target edition. Um, actually, I don't know if this is the... Target edition, but it is the pink special edition. Um, and I had quite a few special editions, but I just don't see myself needing them. I kept the paperback of this with like green sprayed edges and stuff like that, but this has a pink ribbon. I just <sighs> no more. I don't need it. Oh, here's some more Casey West. I think this is the last Casey West, and that is moment of truth um i i kind of remember liking this but i don't really remember much of it the ones that i kept are ones that i really remember and want to reread so and if i decide that when i reread them that i don't want to keep them anymore i'll get rid of those then so we'll see uh okay more casey west actually but next up we have becky albertelli and aisha saeed's yes no maybe so this is a signed first edition I just, yeah, I don't know. I tried reading this many times. I just could not get into it. Uh, political romance is just not my thing. So yeah, that's going. I tried. So I think this is the last Casey West, I think. But it's maybe this time. Um, I really didn't like this one. This is, I think, one of her newest ones. I think she still has a newest one out, but I think this is one of the newest ones that I read, and I just didn't like it. This might be, like, um, the newer one before, like, before this newest one, maybe, something like that. But I think I read this, like, a year or two years ago, and I just, mm, I didn't really like it. All right, so then we have uh, Wicked As You Wish by Rin Shapeko. I bought this a long time ago, really wanted to read it, and just never did. And to be honest, I don't really like my edition. I feel like it's kind of wonky. But um, I also don't really think I'm going to read this right now. And if I do ever plan on reading it, I will just read it electronically. And then I think you saw, I'm also getting rid of small favors. Um... I really enjoyed this, but I don't ever see myself rereading it. Um, this is uh, Small Favors by Aaron A. Craig. This is like a Rumpelstiltskin small town fantasy horror. And it was not, it was really good. I really liked it. There was a small issue I had with it, but not too bad. Um, I think I would have given it five stars if not for that small issue. I really did enjoy it. I think it's really creepy, atmospheric, really good to read around the fall, Halloween-ish time. But just not going to reread. Alright, and so lastly, I'm getting rid of a YA contemporary trilogy. One that I really enjoyed and just don't see myself rereading. And that is the Love and series, I think it's called. I'm not even sure. Oh my god. My copy is completely beat up. Oh great, I'm going to have to figure that out before I get rid of it. Uh, it's Love and Gelato. Uh, Love and Luck, 
and Love and Olives all by Jenna Evans Welch. Um, but I really enjoyed reading them when I did, but I just don't see myself rereading them. So it's time they go. But that is it. That's all the books that I'm unhauling at this moment um, for this video. And so I'll see you again with another video when I get that going. <laughs> Bye guys. Happy reading and stay safe.